It's not real. What is that parking on that M50 right there? Look at that crooked parking. Look how beautiful. Look how beautiful the freaking Pisces and the Furious look lined up. And then you got this crooked M50 parking. <laughs> I thought I was going to move it, so I was like, I'll just park it. Wait for you to tell me where to put it. What up guys, Giveaway Manny here, here to announce about the 4,000 subscriber giveaway. Yes, behind me you see the Drake Cutter. It's, it's, it's a Drake Cutter, it's not no origin shit, but it's a Drake Cutter. I know some of you guys really enjoy this, so yes, this is for 4,000 subscribers. Guys, we're giving away a Drake Cutter. Thank you guys for all your guys' love and support. Hey, wait, I said I was giving away a Drake Cutter, right? With the original concept skin? Wait, not one Drake Cutter. Hold on a minute, two? Drake Cutters and another original concept skin and the Drake Rambler? Wait, wait a minute. Not two Drake Cutters. Three Drake Cutters? Hold on a minute. There it is. Three Drake Cutters. We're giving you the, away the triple pack of all three Drake Cutters. The, the Scout, the Rambler, and the regular Cutter and with all their original concept skins. So if you guys do want this, make sure you guys share this video and comment and like on every single video from here until we hit 4,000 subs. You know the deal. Comment and like until we hit 4,000 subs. Share the video to get us to 4,000 subs. Let's get there quick and let's move on to 5,000 subs because we're gonna be blasting off in the space with all the subs and all the love and all that. Thank you guys, Drake Cutters. All three of them for you guys for the giveaway winner. Good luck. Again, welcome everybody to Living on the 890 episode 1. It's going to be a kind of setup episode, so there won't be a whole bunch of fancy flying or anything. Or maybe there will be. Yes, there probably will be because I can. I don't know. But anyways, this is going to be the setup. Um, and the first thing we have to do to get set up is set up our armor. It's a real quick. We're just going to wear this armor. Um, like I said, I, I, I was hunting some bounty hunters the other day and ended up getting the SBK boss armor. And I have plenty of the SBK boss armor in my actual inventory, so it's not like a special thing or anything. But this is just what we're wearing. Um, but as I was saying, we're going to get rid of these guns <coughs> and fancy up our guns and then put some ammo in <coughs> and whatnot. And then we'll get to going straight into fixing up the 890 and stuff like that. So what we're going to do is straight off the bat we're gonna get grab some fancy guns um so let's look at what fancy guns we have available to us <clears throat> so we have the lumen which actually might go on the back that's a that's a nice one um and then the demico but that's double the only thing i don't like about that is that's double uh what do you call it double uh laser and i don't want to do double laser <clears throat> so what i'm actually going to do is uh it's hard to not take the p6 <clears throat> but actually what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the s71 i'm gonna take the s71 and the lumen how about that that's that's a good combo right short range long range good combo good combo i think so i like it um on top of that we're going to need more scopes for the s71 because i believe the s71 has a times three scope on so we're going to bring a times three scope we're also going to bring a times two scope for it as well so we have multiple different scopes for the s71 should we bring a long range <clears throat> scope for the s71 like a times eight i don't see why not right so let's go ahead and do that let's go ahead and do that astro howdy how's it going what's up and um iron from space i want 37 fury snubs in the hangar oh yes oh yes criminal manny no we're not we're not I'm not i'm not a criminal today we can be a criminal um one thing we're also going to do is we're going to drop this multi-tool and pick up a fancier multi-tool i think we'll go with the blue multi-tool for this one or i guess it's white and blue you know what i mean it's not like blue blue so we'll put that one on make sure it has a tractor beam and then our med gun look good look good do we need a pistol guys do we need a pistol i guess we could throw on a pistol right a pistol 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 anywhere where's our golden pistol 
have I lost our golden pistol this uh this patch? I might have lost our golden pistol this patch, but you know what? We can we can use the green pistol. Yeah, yeah, we can use the green pistol. That's I mean, it doesn't fit our blue armor, but it works. It works. Okay. So then let's just grab a little bit of ammo and then let's get going. So what we're going to do is uh, definitely take off the P6 ammo. And um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we'll just find the S71 ammo. My, my ammo is getting kind of chaotic around here. Okay, S71. We'll throw four S71 ammos on and then we'll split off like a... 20, 20 mags. What's up, animals? How you doing, my dude? And we'll throw 20 mags into the backpack. And then the lumen. Lumen, 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 lumen. I've been using the lumen quite a bit, so there we go. Okay, I was like, I should have a bunch of lumen ammo. And we'll go ahead. Why is this dude circling around me like a madman? Is that a player? Almost look like a player the way he's circling around me, huh? We'll split the lumen ammo into a 30 stack. Beautiful. And then, oh wait, we for, almost forgot our juice. We need a uh, three juices. There you go. And then some substances. We'll we'll take uh, two two of these guys. There we go. And I think we're thirsty too, so let's let's drink a bit. Let's drink two of these, and then we'll be on our way to um damn it <laughs> then we'll be on our way to start working on the actual vehicle sound good sound good what's up bald dude how you doing bald dude what up you know i've been wondering where you've been at been missing the serious show come back here bald dude i got a bottle to throw at you all right. So yeah, this is the uh, preparing the 890. First, you got to prepare yourself. Any news on the phase three yet? Not able to play till Friday. Well, phase three won't be available until Friday. So uh, there you go, my dude. All right. So this is us. This is our setup. This is our get up. We're looking good. Now let's uh, get to work, right? <clears throat> what I'm actually going to do first is something inside the station. We're going to go get cargo boxes. I could have done this off camera, but I wanted to do this on camera sh to show off cargo boxes. I don't, you know, some people might not know too much about cargo boxes. People not, might not know they're there at all. So we're going to go look at the cargo center and go buy some cargo boxes. Because I'm going to set up the 890 right today. We're going to use cargo boxes and everything. Put gear inside. Put weapons inside. Put ammo inside. John, how's it going, my dude? And then when we lose it all, we're going to cry. Because we are going to lose it all. Welcome. But that's okay. That's okay. Try the vehicle tunnel. So where is cargo boxes? Maybe utility? I was right. It's in utility. So cargo boxes are in utility. Um, we could buy, let's say, let's say like for the... SU1s, um, these are SU2s, we'll buy like four of the SU2s, we're not going to use all of these, this is just for me to have a stockpile of them, we'll buy uh, four of the SU4s, and then we'll buy, this is kind of expensive, we'll buy two of the SU8s, okay, <laughs> All right, there we go. So, I don't think there's anything else we needed from the cargo. Or is there? Maybe there's something else we needed from the cargo area. It's over here, though. Maybe there's something else, my dudes. Do you know? Do you know what else is hiding in the cargo area? Am I going the right way? No. Ha ha ha! There's no turtles. 
Damn. I can't take a turtle with me on my trip. It was so sad. <laughs> oh well. That means we'll take Pico. All the Picos will come with us. No need to fear. All the Picos. Will you stop it? Over there with your... Those turds. Alright. Looking good, feeling good. Alright, let's do this, my dudes. Okay. There was a little bit of gap of uh, a vacuum there. Like you said, I lost a little health because I had no helmet on. Crazy. Crazy. Okay. Welcome. To Let's see how well the 890 system. is going to work on this server. 890 jump. Retrieve. Vehicles, your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Please visit us again. We should probably put a helmet on because we're going into the docking bay. Okay. Man, I loaded my carrot up with 12 noxes last night, getting ready for some future escapade, and on the way back to the spaceport, my game 30k'd on me. Well, that's that's okay. Those noxes and the carrot should still be fine. There's no reason to be defeated. You're a champion. That sounds like fun. Hurdle number one. Will the docking arm spawn? And yes, it does. Hurdle number one complete. Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Everything worked. Wow. Seamlessly. It, um, it worked so seamlessly. That's crazy. Okay. Hurdle number two is we're going to undock this thing before we move cargo boxes around and stuff. Reason for that, guys, is just in case anybody wants to enter the ship and whatnot, I need to get it undocked. You know, just in case there's some hooligans out there, we have to get this shit undocked. Hurdle number two, you might not be able to store the 890 jump with anything in the hangar. I've never had that be an issue, ever. Interesting. I've never had that be an issue. Um, but I don't plan on storing the 890 jump. I plan on living on the 890 jump. <laughs> Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to just uh, get a little bit of ways up. We're going to take pictures for future thumbnails. Future thumbnail pictures. Yes, the future. All right, that's a good. That's good enough for now. Okay. I also think. Oh shit! I fucked up. We left the arm as its own, my dudes. I fucked up. We gotta go back. <laughs> Add refueling shifts for the 890, that would be nice, yeah. We're gonna barely touch the armistice zone, that's the plan. Do I need you to guard the 890? Of course I need you to guard the 890. What do you think this is? <laughs> if you want, you could even join me on the 890. This isn't just a solo gig. Y'all could join me on the 890. I just am starting solo at the moment. 
anyways. Let's start loading this puppy up. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do, guys. Can I take... First off, we need some Picos in here, right? Do I have my Christmas Pico? Where's my Christmas Pico? Here's my Christmas Pico, okay? Christmas Pico. Okay, first off, Captain Christmas Pico. Actually, Captain Christmas Pico is going to man the rockets, okay? There we go. There you go, good sir. Okay. Now we got Captain Christmas Pico here as the setup, right? Okay. And then, um, well, we'll, we'll celebrate the C1 or the Zeus. Is this the Zeus? I don't know what this is. It's the Zeus. Do not want to rotate. There we go. Yes. The setup, my dudes. <laughs> okay. And then... The dice, of course, yes. We gotta have one dice in the... In here. So we gotta roll the dice, right? There we go. Beautiful. Okay. So, what I was looking for is the cargo. Is the cargo... The cargo is in here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Can I... Oh, but I can't tractor beam because I'm in an armistice zone. Oh, wait, I can. Okay. Okay, cool. So, we'll have one um, SU box in here, in the captain's quarters, right? I don't like that spot. Maybe we'll put it down here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right, right. One SCU box in, in the in the in the bridge in the bridge. One SCU box in the bridge, right? With a little bit of a uh, little bit of nice little customization. This is the setup, my dudes. Okay. And then, I mean, why not have a little plant too, right? Well, hold on, let's put the multi-tool away. Why not have a little plant on the other side, right? There we go. Beautiful. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. Okay. Hey. The 890 jump always works, my dude. The 90 jump always works. Okay. So out here in the foyer. Out here in the foyer. Um do we need anything out here in the foyer? I don't think we necessarily need anything out here in the foyer, right? But, in the master bedroom at least, we can put a few things out in the master bedroom. What's up, how's it going? Can you put video about Vaughn mercenary missions? Is that what you mean? I've I've done Vaughn missionary mercenary missions out in the past, um, so I mean I could do more of that in the uh, I can do more of that later. Does uh this fishing tank actually? I don't think this fishing tank came out. Yeah, I don't I don't think that fishing tank comes out. Need magazines. <laughs> I agree. Need magazines. Well, we'll have one of the Picos out here. How about that? You know, the crew. 
got to have some nice views too, right? There you go. He's enjoying the view. And then my cookies go in my personal kitchen. Okay. My cookies go in my personal kitchen. Yes, sir. -y. Okay, that's all we need for there. They're they're kind of old. I could definitely do newer ones, but they're definitely uh, they're definitely still the same thing. It's it's a uh, the Astro Manny goes rogue series. There's a whole playlist for it. The Astro Manny rogue series. Again, it's pretty old. It will be updated here in the future, so um, be aware of that. We need space to brought this. Mm. Can you fit a Hornet in the 890? Yes, I can fit a Hornet in the 890. It's not on my plan to fit a Hornet in the 890, though. I have a whole plan, you see. Okay. Where did the box appear when I did the other one? Maybe I can't put an SU2 here. Maybe it has to be an SU1. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I can't put a box here, General? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got an idea. Put landing gear up. I already took a box out earlier. There we go. I got it. I got it. I think that area was just too small. You know what I mean? What the heck? Maybe I should just leave the armistice zone. I'm just gonna leave the armistice zone. Hey, drop bodies with the <laughs> with the good looking out. Good looking out, drop bodies. If I'm just slightly out of the armistice zone, do I still get local inventory? Just out of the armistice zone, let's see. Now, the Hornet fits very comfortably in the 890, guys. It really does. The Hornet is not a big ship. It fits very comfortably. What's up, Fez? How you doing, my dude? <laughs> Come on. I was very close to the armistice zone, was I not? What's up, Sudeep? How you doing, my dude? Bruh. You can fit Scorpiuses. You can fit Hornet or um, Hurricanes. You can fit... You can fit F8C Lightnings in. Bruh. I'm not, I'm not, well, if someone wants to bring a Hornet in and test it out, they can, but I'm, I'm not doing it right this second. I have a plan, my dude. Alright, I still have local inventory, we're good. So see, we could put a SEU box here at the locations of the docking ports so that people can put their gear and stuff 
and go into battle. You know what I mean? So, here we can open up storage and throw in some of our gear. And our local. And our armor. And we can throw some of this in, right? And then... some pants just need some pants all I need is 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 pants and I can't find none there's one of the helmets though there's some pants another helmet there we go beautiful right weapons how about some undersuits I don't think the undersuit thing is necessary but we'll throw in undersuits anyways you wish the vulture would work yeah yeah that'd be cool if the vulture would work the problem with origin is or the hornet is it's not origin exactly <laughs> Put boxes in the airlock area, two sets of doors? No, 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 that's too... We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see. I, I don't know about that, that's questionable, my dude. I, I understand your, your, your perspective there, your, your thought process, but uh, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I should have bought more ammo while I was on the station, but we could always go back. We can always go back. And this is for other people to put their ammo to, not just me, this is my gear. If other people want to put their gear in here that are going to be on my 890 in the future, you know, Astro Mercenaries, then uh, you can put your gear here. But this is my gear. Nah, this is spare gear. People can grab this if they need to, too. Um, what other guns did I... I put a P6 in there, right? So we need P6 ammo. Um, I put a P6 in there as well, so we need P6 ammo, too. Um, well, the problem with P6 ammo is I have P6 ammo everywhere. There we go. Okay, P6 ammo. This is the setup, my dudes. It's it's a setup. Okay. We're doing it right. Um, and then P6 ammo. What does P6 ammo look like? It just looks like these, right? Yep. Hey, look, luxury is a lifestyle. Exactly, exactly. You want any ship in particular if you join? No, any ship is fine. I mean, if you p use a ship that fits in the hangar, that's extra bonus points. But, um, yeah. Need Star Eats to deliver ammo? Yes. <laughs> Always need Star Eats to deliver ammo. All right, so there we go. That is our... Oh, we need drinks in here too, right? There we go. All right. So there we go. SU crate with all kinds of gear and drinks and stuff for people. Okay. I think that's just about it I'm going to do for... And uh, No, 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 no. We're going to put a few things down in the cargo and the hangar area. We'll put a, we'll put a few things down in the cargo and the hangar area. <laughs> so 
So, I mean, I have a whole plan, right? I know exactly what I'm going to put in here. But, so what we'll do is we'll other, and we'll put a big one in here. A big, big one or a, or a four. Maybe we'll put a big, big one in here. Let's see what it looks like. That's pretty big, but the 890 is pretty big, so. All right, just put that right there. Just put that right there, right? And now we have an 8 SCU box here. An 8 SCU box right here. Okay. Again, we'll throw in a couple undersuits. Um, bink, bink, bink. Bink, bink, bink. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll throw in a crap ton of armor. We'll throw in some of the green armor. Bink, 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 bink. How many legs did I throw in? Too many legs, right? Um, we need more arms and chests. Bink, bink. A couple green helmets. Bink. Bink. Okay. I got an Ursa. <laughs> Why not two 8SUs? Because what am I going to put in there, my dude? I got to leave space for the crew to bring their own gear. You know what I mean? Got to leave space for the crew to bring their own gear. What do you think this is? <laughs> Here we go. Bink. Bink, bink. Three of those. Why do I have so many of those legs? Bink, bink, bink. Why do I have so many of those legs? Throw all those in there. Throw a few of those in there. I don't even know, man. I don't even know. Hold on. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Now I gotta reset my shits. Okay. Why do I have so many of those legs? I don't know. But there's a whole set right there. So I wanna try to get whole sets in here. A backup, uh, nah. Oh, hello. Hello. I'm doing good, how are you? Let me make sure that your volume can be heard. It cannot. Give me two seconds. Pink. There you go, and you should be able to be heard by stream now. Beautiful. Hey, guys. <laughs> I think I'm good on putting my own armor in here. Don't worry, I still have to go into the hangar and put armor in the hangar, guys. Like, there's all kinds of shit I gotta do. Um, let's split this. There's a, here's a couple arms right here. We'll take the three arms there. And then I need some chest pieces, I guess. There we go, some chest pieces right there. there. Okay. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. This, this one is good. We'll throw in a bunch of P6s. All those P6s, maybe a P4 or P or P4. Throw a bunch of P4s in, maybe a P6. You know, words are hard. Um, maybe an FS9. Now these guys aren't even gonna get supplied with ammo, right? Like, that's shit. I need to go back to the other box and put scopes. Couple of shotguns in there. A missile launcher. <laughs> a rail gun? Why not? Why not? Why not put a rail gun in there? Why not, my dudes? Why not? 
<laughs> okay. A couple people said, yo, John, what's up? <laughs> what's up, Squirrel Lord? How you doing, my dude? Alright, well, and then we'll just throw in a bunch of tractor beams with a stack, a couple stacks of these guys. There we go. And then why not do that whole stack there? Yeah. And then as far as ammo goes, I don't really have ammo to supply all these guns, per se. What I'll do is I'll take like a a decent stack of the P4 ammo and I'll just throw the P4 ammo in there um, and I'll throw in I don't think I even have the shotgun ammo to be honest that's that's all I can do that's all I can do a couple drinks a couple drinks here and there okay. and then that's good that's it that's it need a box for just tractor beams oh you mean organizing the boxes for just the the one thing i see i see what you mean that's a possibility that's a possibility you know one is armor one is tractor beams one is weapons one is whatever i see what you mean i see what you mean I don't, I don't know if I'm that kind of person, though. Like, I, I kind of am, but I'm also lazy, you know? <laughs> like, that's something... I don't know, you know? Like, that's something that'll happen in the future. Not right now. This is day one. We're, we, we've been going for 30 minutes and we haven't even left Seraphim yet. You know what I mean? Like, let's get some ships in here first. <laughs> yeah. So let's, let's get some ships in here first. And whatnot. And then... We'll get that all Thank other you. stuff taken care of. No, you're really surprised. I've bought a medical Pisces. <laughs> oh, yeah? Nice. Yeah. Medical Pisces are nice. Listen, just me supplying all this gear, guys, is more than more than enough because I'm just I'm never gonna die all right <laughs> let's just get that straight out the way all right guys I'm <laughs> not joking. so I don't need all this gear this is for all the mercenaries getting on my ship and getting stuck in the ship and then having the backspace because they pressed the wrong button and then got stuck in a ship that's what this is for yeah, man, I, I die all the time <laughs> How do you know I'll get stuck in your ship? It's just, it's, it's just, it's un, it's a, uh, you know, Murphy's Law. I have left dead bodies in many of the walls of many a ship. <laughs> Some of them are mine. <laughs> Why is it so hard to find legs? It's gonna have white legs. Alright, that's all I'm doing. Origin only ships? No, 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 no. We're not gonna definitely, we're not, we're definitely not doing origin only ships. Um, the reason why is because of, I'm going to be using, um, Furies, so that already cancels out origin only, right? So, so it won't be origin only ships. Okay, so there we go. 
and then what did I put in here? I put in um, C54s. So we got C54 ammo somewhere, I know I do. And then we put custodian, and I have a crap ton of custodian ammo. Put RMC. Why am I putting RMC? So that they want to take my RMC? Who wants to take my RMC? Players? Bring it. C54 ammo. What does C54 ammo look like? It looks like like this, right? Like like that, like that. Okay, it looks like that. So where is my C54 ammo? I just wish these pictures would load in a little bit faster. Okay, so that's about it. Um, a couple more drinks in this box. Okay. And then, and then we're good. We're good. I'm done putting boxes down. We're going to go back to decorating, guys. We're going to go... <laughs> we're going to go back to decorating. So, like, there, there has to be a Pico here guarding the hangar. Right? This is, this is the, the Pico guard. Okay? There has to be... Pico has to be playing with his green ball of dice... <laughs> okay. Does it hurt the ship if I land on the hangar doors? Uh, probably. I won't do it then. I'm about three feet off the ground. Okay. How much decorating does one do? Okay, we need to go decorate the. Um, the cargo bay. Here, we'll leave Pico with a friend. Oh, that's a big whale. That's a big whale! There you go, buddy. Okay. Because there's a. F I forgot to put a few things in the cargo area, anyways. I forgot. Oh well. Come on, door open. I could also put guns in the armory like a smart person, you know? But I put them in the boxes, okay? Listen. Speaking of this, hold on. This box right here, this box is going to be the ammo box, okay? Okay. On our, on our trips through the verse... This box will be the ammo box, okay? Because it's going to be next to the armory. So we'll put all the ammo in this box, and then we'll start filling up the armory with guns. How does that sound? Okay, sound good? Sounds good. Okay. Beautiful. Not putting any ammo in there right now, but I'm saying for the future. Okay, okay. We can put our toolbox. Our toolbox in the cargo bay. You see, you see. See, see, wow, it even lights up, how fancy. Is it backwards? It is backwards. Beautiful, right? Okay. Um, I think that's about it. I mean, we could put another another dice here and a plant. It'll be nice to have a plant in the uh, in the in the cargo area, right? You know, make makes it more lively. There you go. There you go. <laughs> and. Uh, we need a Pico down here, right? Pico down here and, and, and a... Oh, I didn't mean to drop that on the floor. That's fine. Okay, so this Pico... We'll place him right here, right? He's 
man in the station, my dudes. He's man. P Pico. He tried a Houdini back into my hand there. You see that? He tried a Houdini back in my hand. There you go, Pico. Okay. That's enough decorating, my dudes. We'll decorate more in the future. I just don't even... I also don't have too many things. <laughs> What's too small? The 890 is too big. <laughs> That's what it is. Okay, we're done. I needed to go put a tractor beam and some scopes in my OP box. Okay. I also need to check my message. That's not important. The plant's too small? I know. I agree. I agree. But the 890 is just too big, is what it is, you know? Alright, so in this box, we'll put some scopes in. Maybe I should make a box that's just scopes. How about that? Uh, we'll start off small, guys. We'll start off small. You guys were like, well, you need a box for. For, for guns, you need a box for, for armor, you need a box for ammo. How about this? I'll start off slow. I'll have a box that is for scopes only, okay? For attachments only, not scopes only, for attachments, okay? This is the attachment box. Okay. I tried to get the turtle. The turtle wasn't there. Hurt my feelings. Okay. For attachments. There you go. We'll even throw laser pointers in there, right? Times 8 scope. Times 16 scope. Times 16 scope. Times 8 scope. Um, times 2 scope. Times 3 scope. Times 1 scope. Uh, suppressor. Suppressor. Bunch of times one scopes. Bunch of times two scopes. Compensators. Um, more laser pointers. More, more of those. Uh, na, 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 na. There's the good scopes. A couple of good scopes. Another one of those. Just need a couple of size 2 suppressors and then we're good to go, right? I know I have quite a few. I might have gone through a lot of them. We could always stop somewhere to get size 2 suppressors. Or we could just not care about size 2 suppressors, you know? Why do I have so many size 3 suppressors? When the hell did those get purchased? There we go. Size 2 suppressor. Size 2 suppressor. Size 2 suppressor. Here we go. Here's all the size 2 suppressors. There you go. Okay. Good enough. I'm happy. For now. We could always add more. People scarf the, the turtles. <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good. Good. Let's go put some ships in this thing. It's it sort of looks a little lived in, right? There's a there's a you know a box there, a, a plushie here, a, a pico there, a plant there. The 890 is just so big, you know. I'm, I'm just hovering above your hangout, man. Yeah, so if you want to take off, let me know. I'll get out of the way. I'm getting ready to take off. What's up, Alex? How you doing, my dude? I'm 
getting ready to take off. Like, like I'm in the seat. Can I land? Or shall I get out of the way? Uh, do you want in? I'd love to. I'd love to come in. Uh, oh, okay. Sure, 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 sure. Thank you. I crashed, so my ship's not going anyway. Sorry. What are you in? The M50? Yeah. Okay. Why you crash? Crash the desktop, don't know. I was admiring the 890. Yeah. Well, that's gonna come up. I would just. Yeah, that, that. Oh, it's gonna come up. Oh, okay. That's all good. Astro manage private property, enter at your own risk. Oh yeah, that's right, because you guys aren't at my party. Should you set your 890 up too, if you want to, my dude? Do I use I use Toby Eye Tracker? Yes. Do I know what version of Toby Eye Tracker it is? No. Alright. We're leaving without you, sir. Alright guys, we are off. The 890 has been decorated to my amount of decoration I have. Maybe if org mates and friends have other decorations, they can start adding to the decorations of the 890. But I only have so much. The only thing I can do now is go buy more Picos and put Picos everywhere. But like, you know, we can only have so many Picos. I got a couple of Picos. But... I don't have any more fancy subscriber decorations from... I've only been playing the game for a year, so I don't have all that many. Maybe we should just go into one of the rooms and just have a million Picos. <laughs> I'm going to go set up on Yella instead of Daymar. I feel like we always set up on Neymar. So let's let's go set up on Yella. The cool thing about the 890 is it does take a while to spool up your um, quantum drive, but the quantum drive itself is pretty damn good. So that's the cool thing about the 890 is that even if we're doing missions where like say I'm gonna live on the 890 right I'm gonna try to live on the 890 until 3.23 like obviously the 890 might get 30 k or it might get blown up but I'll just bring out another one and reset it up maybe as long as I don't die on the 890 if I if I go down with the ship then the series ends kind of thing um, if I get stream sniped and torped then uh, that's a different story well, we might still keep going. It depends on the situation. Um, but, anyways, if we get pad rammed, that's a different situation. We'll probably still continue going if someone pad rams us. But, those are different scenarios. Anyways. I'm right thinking that only you can bedlog on the A90. Yeah, only I can bedlog. So, what we're going to do is if somebody. Or, or when the um, when the next phases of overdrive comes out, we're gonna use the A90. And the thing is, like I said, if we're going from Microtech to Arcorp, the A90 moves. It it goes like 200 and something. Uh, like it's 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 one of the better quantum drives. It's definitely better than the size one ships. So it still moves pretty quickly. So getting around the verse in the A90 is not gonna be a a, uh, a, a a hindrance or a you know what I mean. It won't it won't be a problem. The only problem of using the 890 is going to be the amount of time it takes to get out of the 890 
into a different ship and go to the actual objective. But if we do that as a team, it could look really cool. That kind of is the cool part, though. You put the music on, starts to kick in as you sort of running to your ships, jumping onto them. Look at this. Look at the brightness of yellow that we're about to do. All this loading up here. A little bit of a snowstorm, I guess, but what do you expect? Let's see what we can do here. I'll try to get relatively close to the area. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. I was flying, I didn't have time to mute. Good enough? Close enough? I think so. Nope. It's definitely not good enough. We're too close. Now we're too far. There's no way. I want to get nice and close so it's not too far of a walk, but I also can't get too close to where we get impounded because then we just lose everything we just did. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Engines. Beautiful scenes. More screenshots. Is that what you guys asked for? Of course. Like, I mean, y'all can't complain about that screenshot. Like, look at that. Look at that screenshot. Holy shit. Look at that screenshot. My dudes. Dudes. Oh my goodness. Alright, this will be the last of the screenshots for a while, but like, hold on, we want to get the 890 in the pick. Oh, like that? Oh, like that? Just a little bit higher? Right there. Tremendous! These shots, guys. Okay. All right, let's load up some ships. What all goes in the ships? I already have a plan, so you guys don't really get an option on this. But <laughs> what do you guys think should go on the 890? <laughs> I feel like the only option is Furies. Yeah, we're definitely putting... I, I don't know if I'm going to put two Furies on. I haven't decided that. And I haven't decided if I'm going to put an M50 or not. I know I'm doing one Fury, and I know I'm doing a Pisces. Right, so... Oh, let me set my... My spawn here. Well, that's one way to set your spawn at the location. I guess I should do that as well, right? Um, you don't have to. Unless you plan on dying. <laughs> I never plan on it. The Ursa Rover? I don't put Ursa Rovers in my ships, Jim. I put Lynxes. 
This is a luxury ship, sir? <laughs> because so if you put your if you put your spawn here and then tomorrow when you log in and you die or something, you'll end up at your home location unless you remember to put your spawn back at Seraphin. Okay. Makes sense. I'll I'll risk it. But if you if you think you're gonna die today, which I don't think we're gonna do a whole lot of pew pews or combating today because of um, I don't have all that much time. This is just gonna be kind of a setup episode. Um, one thing you are going to do is you're going to take your Pisces and get the hell out of my ship, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna put my Pisces in it, and then you can go ahead and fly my Pisces if you want to fly a Pisces. So, because I can't have any, I can't have other people's vehicles in my ship when I log out. So, no, I read that, yeah. yeah, so you guys can come in and land your ships in my ship, but you need to make sure that before you leave, you get your ship off my ship. <laughs> but for right now, like I said, I'm going to put my own Pisces in. So if you want to fly a Pisces, there'll be a Pisces here for you. Um, I'm gonna try it. So look, here's my plan, guys. Let me tell you guys. Let me tell you guys my plan. I'm gonna tell you guys my plan. So, of course, I'm gonna put a, a fury like somewhere right here. Okay. Maybe a second fury like on the other side. Maybe like I'm gonna bring a Pisces, and I might try to get the Pisces in where the basketball court is. So I might actually move this SU container and pico and stuff because then what i want to do is have the whole pad or at least half the pad available for org members and friends to land and join in when we're playing so like that way i have space for people to land instead of having just a full load of my own ships because i'm only one person i can't take all the ships all out at the same time or i guess i could have people board and then they could take the ships all out but I kind of want to, like I said, I, I want to leave enough space for people to land in, and it would be really cool if I could get people to bring Scorpiuses and, and Hurricanes and stuff, because then we can use multi-cruise ships, and that'll be fun. Um, the question is, can I put an M50 on the pad and still have people be able to fit? And, and I think the answer is yes. I could probably even put a Gladius on the pad. You can slip an M50 almost into the side areas. We'll see. I'm yeah, we'll see. And then for the cargo area, I honestly, I want to put a rover, an Ursa rover or a Lynx, but I can't. You want to know why I can't put an Ursa rover or a Lynx in here? Because those things are bugged. If you put an... You can say Nova Tank. No, no, I... I... No, we're not putting a damn thing in here. If I put an Ursa rover or a Lynx in here, they like the flip, and then they just get screwed over anyways. So we're gonna we're gonna not put an Ursa rover or a Lynx in. We're just gonna put Cyclones and STVs in. Sadly, and sadly, I can't put an X1 either because the X1 is broken at the moment too. I I can't help that uh, the game is broken. In, I, I feel like they're focusing on 23, yeah. just ignoring everything. Yeah. The ro the Ursa rover is bugged where, at least in the 890, I've, I've, I've had it plenty of times where in the 890 my rover just completely flips over. Like it just, it just flips. Like randomly it'll just flip. I mean, I could try. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. But I'm telling you, it just flips. Alright, so let's get everything started to be claimed. claimed Need the sent. Fury over here. Need the Pisces the over here. Has been sent. Oh, yeah, I was going to put a hover quad. Your insurance claim has been sent. Because the, the X1's busted right now. Your 
insurance claim has been sent. And then M fifty. Your insurance claim has been sent. And so like see I could bring the links. Do you, should we should we test it? No guns on the quad. I know, but the X1's broken. I mean, I could bring a dragonfly. It's it's not it's not for the guns. The quads The quad is literally for fun and for going to take out comma rays. Did you lose your 890 after the update, Bear? Um, that sucks. Or did you lose something else? I also don't have my Lynx blue paint on me. It'll be the base Lynx skin. Which is a little bit sad. Alright, who's helping with what? Are you guys all down here ready to move vehicles? I can move them. Okay. How is that money? Can I get in with it? No. Here. No? Okay. Thank you. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Okay, so let's uh I'm gonna drive the link, so I'm not gonna do that. Let's do Damn, why does a cyclone take so long to spawn? Can vehicle you safely put a hover bike on the bottom floor of the ship? I believe in you. Are we going in the cargo? Yeah, it's going to go on the, the cargo bay. Where's Hopeless set? Oh, I'm sorry for my head to go find my ship because it was working in space. Mm. Welcome. The yeah, I mean, I always play pay the expedite too. I just uh, thought since I'm moving so many ships, I might as well just not pay the expedite. See, it's also a little sad that the Lynx is not blue. If only Hopeless could grab my blue paint out of my inventory and bring it here. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the game says no. Yeah. Do you think there's enough room for a cyclone over there? Yeah, probably. I'm just gonna find, I don't know if it's ass is gonna get clipped when it takes off. We're gonna have to move it forward a little bit. Maybe move forward a little bit, yeah. Yeah, I <laughs> don't trust it. You don't have the links on what the turret that the Ursa has? They have the same turret, my dude. Yeah, they have the <laughs> they have the same turret. The only difference between the Lynx and the Ursa is the Ursa has a back door and the Lynx doesn't have a back door. Yeah, sure. Do you know where the damn vehicle bay is? Cause I can't see shit. <laughs> oh. 
Uh, the Pisces there. I can't see shit. That's my Pisces now. Nah, I still can't see it. It's somewhere where I'm running. <laughs> <laughs> I found it. Wait. You can put a box in the back of the Ursa. Well, yeah, you can put a box in the back of the Ursa. Which is pretty helpful. What time is it? 2.16? Yeah, I can't go very much longer, so hopefully we can get this set up and do one one or Welcome one mission, maybe. To the vehicle retrieval system. Okay. So, let's see if you can put a cyclone in there as well. If you can't put the cyclone in there, what you need to do is uh, uh, you'll you'll go up with the two vehicles on there, the hover bike and the Ursa, and then you'll take the hover bike off and put it on the side. Yeah. Once you're up inside the ship, you know what I mean. I do. And then I'll do the first round of making the fury fit perfectly. I'm not convinced by that. I'm going to take it up. I don't know what I have set up on my fury right now, to be honest. I might have to redo this at a different time. What, what paint? Is this the concierge paint? Might be, but what shields and stuff does it have on? <laughs> if you have a passenger in the 890 jump, you'll also die. No, sir. Okay, so let's check what components we have. So that's what I was afraid of. See, we have, we don't have the FR-66 on. Yeah. Maybe we don't put the Furies on right now. Come back to the Furies in a bit. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I really, I don't want to put subpar ships on my ship that I'm going to be living on, you know what I mean? So, what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to log out and log back in. And you stay here and watch the ship. Okie dokie. Um, I'll give you a... And are you allowed to bring a missile launcher on the 890? No. <laughs> Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. Uh, let's see. Here, I'll pull out the Pisces for you. And you could put the Pisces. When you're done doing that, you can put the Pisces in the hangar. So that way you have things to do. And I will be back. I guess I could just fly back up there, but this will be much faster. Dang, our server got full, huh? <laughs> no, I, I really wouldn't mind if you buy it in Missile Launcher. It's okay. You shoot it inside my ship, you will be, uh... You will be quickly escorted off. <laughs> With no helmet. <laughs> that was implied by the tone, right? A frag will do. K 
Cat's just looking for shenanigans. Maybe I shouldn't have let Cat aboard the 890. <laughs> Can't wait to play this game. Started a part-time job so you can afford a laptop. Hey, there you go. Put in that effort. Hell yeah. 100%. Okay. So, um, we have to claim a couple things here. We have to claim the Fury. Right? Claim the Fury. And we have to claim the um, M50 because that's how I'm getting back. I'm going to drive the M50. Your insurance claim has been we'll pay the expedited fee on the M50. And we'll pay the expedited fee on the Fury. Your insurance claim has been sent. And Thank we'll make sure the, the ships are in tip-top shape. That Pisces is blue, right? I don't know if you got to it yet. You're still messing with the vehicles. Just loading the, just loading the last ground vehicle. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so let's select the ship. Fury. Okay. So the Fury does have the concierge paint on okay cool check but again we need to make sure that we have the correct components on the, if it doesn't have the fr76 it's gonna just be subpar and i don't want to deal with that it's only a small change right but that's that's a huge change in my book a huge change to put on military grade shields huge change um is there any other ships that need to be perfectly suited up. I don't think so. I think everything else is okay. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. I think other than that is okay. It's been exactly one year since I've started playing Star Citizen. I started in March of last year. I don't, uh, uh the account says I purchased my account on March 3rd, I believe. I don't know if I started playing on March 3rd, but I would assume that if I purchased it, I started playing that day. I would assume so. <laughs> did, did you move the prices off the pad, man? Uh, no, but it might have stored after I logged, so... I think it must have done. Yeah, that's okay. I'm on my way. I will join boss, but I'm trying to make some money on the Reclaimer before the new patch comes out and we can't anymore. Sounds good, my dude. It's okay. Like I said, we're not going to go very much longer. Probably a half hour longer. And then, because I have to go to work and school today, but I will be on tonight. Maybe continuing tonight. Definitely will be on tomorrow, continuing tomorrow during the day. Same time that we're on right now, but I'll probably start a little bit earlier. But we'll still be streaming at the time that it is right now. But I'll probably start a little bit earlier. Today I kind of woke up late. And then I still had to do my breakfast and workout and all that kind of stuff. So I got on the game a little bit late. Launching complete. Landing gear raised. Thank you. And please visit again. Quantum drive activated. Quantum drive deactivated. Okay, you guys are on yellow. Easy. Quantum 
See, it would be nice to have something like the Hornet in here. So we'll, we'll think about it. We'll think about it. And then some people say, well, why are you going to put the Pisces in it if you already have a medical bed in, in the 890? Well, the 890, the plan for the 890, guys, is the 890 is never going to touch the surface again. Okay? The 890 is going to go up in the air after we land here and, lo and load all the ships in. And the 890 is never going to touch the surface again. So what's going to happen is we're going to park the 890 and take the Pisces out when we do bunker missions and do ground level missions. We're going to park the 890 up in space and then fly the Pisces or whatever other ship. Are we going to leave any crew on the 890 or is it all going to be like all pile into the ships? Uh, depending on the situation. For anything that requires... Um, Space combat will probably leave somebody on the 890. For anything that requires ground combat, it's most of the time safe to everybody to get off because we'll leave it at OM1 or OM2, and so therefore we know exactly where it is. The only danger of that is that someone could come and destroy it, but that's, you know. I brought a perfect ship that can fit 890. You're not, you're not putting anything in my 890. Not putting side by side. Okay, so my hangar door is closed for me when it probably is open. I forgot about that situation. Damn it. I'll have to fix that. Do I have enough money for next patch? Probably not, to be honest. But, uh, you know, I do whatever I gotta do. I played during the 2952 Expo Free Fly event, since then learning to play the game. Oh, that's the wrong side. Hello, well. <laughs> and you're enjoying the journey. Also, think about starting a YouTube channel of you playing Star Citizen. Well, nice, dude. Look. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. Are you spawning the Pisces now? Uh, yes, I'm gonna spawn the Your Pisces now. Has been set. But give me a second. Um, actually, I'm not gonna spawn the Pisces now. I'm gonna go into the ship because I have to fix the fact that the hangar door is closed for me even though it's probably open for you I forgot about that kind of situation um do you is the hangar is the cargo bay up cargo bay is up yeah I put it up I okay. sent it up before I okay. go back over to the pad alright I'm gonna go up using the cargo bay and see how that looks Or I probably can't, you can't open up the cargo bay from outside, can you? I don't think you can. I know there's a light right here, but it doesn't do anything. That's okay, we'll use this elevator. How will I find the 890 after? What do you mean, how will I find the 890 after? Bye! <laughs> it's so buggy. You just showed you jumping straight over the elevator and then suddenly you just went up in the ship. I'm a ninja. Oh, I what? I, I hit cool elevator on that white light and nothing happened for about two minutes and then suddenly the cargo bay just came. You see what I mean? Like, look, this this box has already been moved. Like, it's already flipped around and stuff. This is why things get buggy in the 890. This is why the Ursa rover doesn't work and the Lynx doesn't work. Because they bug around and they do a flip. And when they flip, it's kind of rough. The only good thing now is 
we have tractor beams that can move the vehicles now, when beforehand we didn't, you know what I mean? I did not park this thing here either, as it is moved. Uh, all the PC stuff is in the description. All the PC specs is all in the description. Yeah, this looks good. I don't know where you could fit that cyclone, where you think you're going to go with it. I can move the I can move the links over a little bit, and then maybe you could fit the cyclone next to it. You want to try that? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I was just going to move it away from the terminal because it keeps glitching through it when when you raise up the pan. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. It, it's it's really buggy. See, putting this so close to the wall, I'm telling you guys, it's gonna get, it's gonna bug out. It's already bugging out. Hopeless, need any help? I think the answer is to complete, completely turn the power off of the whole vehicle so that the shields go down. So if we do need to move it with the tractor beam, we can possibly move it with the tractor beam. Looks good. Exactly. There we go. See? Got the two vehicles parked. Got the, the quad bike. Got a little bit of flare here and there. Beautiful. How much time we got? Well, we still got time. Okay. And now I need to run to the hangar bay and make sure that it looks normal. And the goal is to try to keep the uh, cargo area clear so that we could actually put cargo on it. That's the goal. See, is the door open for you? John? Was the hangar doors open for you? Or were they closed? Apologies, oh, I, I was on mute. I was surprised actually, they're shut. They were shut. Oh, okay. They're open now. So there was no bug there, okay. Alright, time to get off the ship again. How will I find the 890 again after I go down in the orbit? We leave it at OM1 or OM2, and it never moves unless someone steals it. <laughs> I know, all good, my dude. You have a wonderful day. Alright, who wants to be the crazy pilot that um, tries to move in the Furies with me? I'm gonna let someone else do that. Mm, I don't mind. Or should I move both the Furies myself? You gonna you gonna try, Astro Um, yep. Where, where's the? Well, it's way down here, isn't it? You can make a beacon for the ship that'll show you where it's at, yes, but that's only if you have a friend on. You can't do that when you're by yourself. You could also put a 
package on it, like a delivery package on it, and that will show you where it's at as well. There's multiple ways to do it. I'm just just saying the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to leave it at an OM marker, OM1 or OM2. You can't leave it at one of the side OMs because those rotate. You have to leave it at OM1 or OM2. Okay, so... You know what? All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. So Astro Synth, get in the Fury. Okay, and when you get in the Fury, look around with your interaction keys and hit the unlock button. That's, that's what you should do. After you turn it on, the first thing you need to do is unlock it because I'm going to claim a second one. And then once I claim a second one, we won't be able to get into that first one unless it's unlocked. Make sure you hit that unlock button for me. Uh, do you know it? Huh? Where's the unlock button? Do you know? Not off the top of my head exactly where it is, but I know there is one. You can see the panel. Huh? I don't see it. It's there. Look up where all the control buttons are. Or maybe it's down below. Maybe it's by the joysticks. I can see exit ship. No, no, I don't see it. This guy. Is it open? No. Get out of my ship. Okay. <laughs> it's all good. You gotta look harder, my dude. It's in there. I've gotten like six of my own Furious in ships before. Alright, so the ship's on, and you literally just look. That's weapons, that's engines, that's radar, that's power, and maybe it's down here. Maybe Exit. it's flipping or something. Engines on, co-ply, weapons, power, self-destruct. Yep, just eject. Yep. Or maybe it's the key binding you have to use. Uh, then I don't have a key binding. Does this not have the button? I've been muted. If you press F and then the mouse wheel thing, you can unlock. Yeah. Systems? Flight systems? No. Ship. Flight systems. No. Actions. Vehicle. Nope. That's port unlock. That's not the right button. No, there, there should be an unlock as well as port unlock. Well, there, there was. Sadly, there is. That's weird. Maybe they changed something. Maybe me check. What is my key button button? No, it's on keyboard. Unlock all doors. Right alt semicolon is what I use. Right uh, what is that option? What did I see? Uh, it's in cockpit under key bindings. Okay. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Uh, 
Should I take it now? Yeah, you uh, can take it now. Okay, what I need you to do is fly to the other side of the 890, land on the ground, and then get out of the ship, and then see if you can get back into the ship to start. Okay. Okay. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle yep. retrieval system. All right. Okay, here you go, John. You can take the Pisces now. That's more my level. Vehicles, your vehicle has please visit us again. Goodbye. And then oh, I'm getting out of building. And then uh hopeless you can maybe see what the M fifty situation's gonna look like. Can you do that? That's Welcome weird, I just checked. I've got it in my favorites, but there's system. nowhere else in the action bar Please where you can actually again. select it. Goodbye. So I don't know how I got unlock <laughs> to my favorites. I think it's some ships have it, and some ships don't. Ah, uh, that's quite possible. Okay, don't don't put the Pisces in the ship yet, John, just uh Okay. Okay, I'll just to the ASOC hang about. vehicle yep. retrieval system. Were you able to get back in the Fury? Your insurance claim has been your vehicle has been moved to our storage facility. One second, vehicle, let me. Yeah, I can. Please visit us again. Okay. Okay, then you can get in the Fury, and now you have to put the Fury in the 890 and put it in, in pocket in the corner. Uh, uh, front side, right? Um, well, yeah, I'm about to do it so you can kind of like see what I'm gonna do and then do the same thing oh, basically. Sure. Hello, how can this help you today? I will limit it to half speed. So, what you do is you, uh, put your landing gear, oh, no, 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 hold on, I'm in decoupled mode, so I need to put my landing gear up. Maybe I need to swap to coupled mode. Then I can pull my landing gear up. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, is I think what I want to do, is I'm going to put mine in the harder spot which is going to be over here. And then you're basically going to put it on the opposite corner that I'm at. See this? Like this? Uh, should I pull up my landing gear? Oh. Yeah, yeah. You want to pull, put your limiter real low. Yeah, it's all real low. Yep, and then pull up your landing gear until you get in position, and then put your landing gear down when you're ready to park. So like now I'm gonna put my landing gear out. Is it okay? And then no 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 no. You need to get way in the corner, my dude. No. Um, you need to see. Okay, sir. Uh, you need to go oh. other way, other direction. Yep, yep. There you go. Back up. Keep going. Nice and slow. Yep. 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 Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay. Okay, done. I've done. Basically, yep. And then even her out, put the landing gear down. Oh, you've gone too far back. Okay, put her down. There you go. Done. Done. There you go. Engine's off. There you go. Beautiful. That's it. Okay. All right, John, uh, bring her in. I, I forgot to. Okay. You want me to get in the middle of those two? Um. Well, the problem is this. This uh. Oh shit! I can move it. Ah, uh, there's there's but ah oh, there's boxes. Okay, okay, okay. 
trespassing I property. Mean, it might is it? Yeah. No. Hold on. Okay. Well, that's where fucking cargo goes, actually. So shit. Let me just crush myself. <laughs> Um, Almost done me. Well, because then Pico's there and everything, and Pico's not going to have a view if we do that. So. Where would you like me then? Oh, look, see, this is actual cargo grid. That's perfect, actually. There, there we go, there we go. Um, oh. I did not know there was a grid there. Yeah, this is where yeah, the cargo same. goes in the, in the A90. Okay, Pico's going to actually... We're going to put Pico... Oh, Pico goes where Pico wants to go. Pico's been smashing into the place. There you go, Pico. You're, Pico you're in charge. There you go, Pico. Uh, your landing gives it up. Yeah, I haven't put him down yet. Oh, Pico does a lot of damage. Doesn't yeah, Pico, P P Pico's like a missile. You <laughs> run out of missiles, throw Pico's at it. Okay, so see how well you can uh, put yourself at the basketball court. Mm, maybe not. Right? I don't think that's going to fit, is it? The other way around, though. Like, turn. Yeah, 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 like that. Keep going, you're fine. Yep, you're good. Okay. Nice down. I think that's it. I don't think I could get any further back. Not to get out. What do you reckon? That's fine. Come down. Come down. Maybe okay. pro put the fence right over other side. Nice. Beautiful. All right. Where's our M50 at? Hopeless. Hmm? You gonna you gonna bring that in? Oh, he's facing out reading chat. Sorry. Yep. Perfect. Wait, where is your M50? It's a good question. It's somewhere where you are. Oh. Right. That I was standing next to my M50, but that's not gonna work for you. No. Okay. Do you see my M50? Not this pea soup. It's, it's like, on the side of the ship. Uh, okay. in, it's in between me and you, but maybe further down the uh, aft of the ship, to the back of the ship. Okay, I, I see a ladder marker, so that must be it. Yeah, that is. How are you going to keep... an M50 from 40 meters away, that's insane. <laughs> How are you going to keep track of the ship? Well, there's plenty of different ways to keep track of the ship. There's... Leaving it at an OM1 or OM2 because then it doesn't move. You can always find it at that OM1 or OM2. Another way is to bring a package on board, like a delivery package. You do a delivery mission and you bring a package on board. Another way is you can use a beacon to... Uh, you put up a escort beacon, not an escort beacon, a transport beacon... And, and then one of your friends should be able to find your ship. The fourth way, and easiest way, is you leave someone on board. <laughs> mm. All right. I'm putting drinks in storage, I think. Uh, in what storage? In that one? Uh, in, that, in that box or yeah. in the actual storage? Uh, box. Okay. Uh, where do you want the M50? Um, so that's that's the question, right? Like, uh, where's the M50 gonna go? To be honest, right where you are is fine. If I want to bring in a multi crew ship, then I'll probably just ditch the M50. But you can also park the M50 in the back <laughs> with the vehicles. True. Could always park the M50 in the back. Yes, you're right. You're right. 
Pisces could go back there too, can't it? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah, Pisces could, could park next to the vehicles. Are you sure the M50 could fit in the cargo bay? Uh, that's wings might be too wide. I'm more worried about, like, the Pisces height because it has to do the glass door. Oh, yeah, that's pretty shallow, isn't it? Yeah. The, uh, um, is the, is the, the Pisces... The fits in there. Yeah, the tank fits in there, and the, the Pisces is shorter than the tank? I think the Pisces is shorter than the tank. Currently, the transport beacon... Currently, the transport beacon is bugged and doesn't work, so that the transport beacon one is not an option at the moment. But it should be an option. Like, it's supposed to work. It just currently does not work. So you can't use the transport beacon one. So you have to keep someone on board or leave it at an OM1 marker or some other type of thing, right? So those are your options currently. Is You, you can't use the transport beacon currently. But we can do a delivery package mission. We can leave somebody on board or we can leave it at OM1 or OM2. Anyways, so this is our this is my 890. This is the 890 that we're going to be living in for right now. It's got the M50 for if I need to go and use a quantum fighter, right? It's got the Pisces for when we go do bunkers. It's got um, multiple Furies if I need to actually do some serious PvP fighting, right? And then it's got plenty of extra armor and cargo. It's got it's got our security guard in the hangar. Pico over here. This is the hangar Pico. And then of course we got the security guard in the cargo bay watching over the cargo and whatnot. Right, 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 right. Watching over the vehicles. Which we have a Lynx, a Cyclone, and a hover bike. OM1 marker. Do the other markers rotate around from the ship? Yes. So OM1 and OM2 are the north and the south pole of the celestial body, which they rotate around, and OM1 and OM2 are always in the exact same position. But 3, 4, 5, and 6 are, you know, the different locations that are static to the surface of the, of the celestial body, but the celestial body rotates. So... OM3 will be in a different spot in 15 minutes than it was before. While OM1 and OM2 will always be the same. Okay, and so here's our cargo bay. We got our, our security guard here. And uh, and our hover bike and, and our vehicles and, and our plant. The plant's so damn small. <laughs> Is OM1 always going to be in the sun? Uh, you should be able to see the sun most of the time. It won't be in the sun, it, but you should be able to see the sun. Hi, John. Yeah, you guys are very small. I think I fixed my uh, wired internet connection. Oh, yeah? I replaced the cable and it seems to be working fine. Alright, and then here is our scopes, our attachments uh, yes. box. This is my my favorite loot armor box, which is it's apparently uh, this is why I don't trust things because they freaking bump around, and I can't do I can't tractor beam it because we're not on. You can only tractor beam when you're in the cargo bay, or when you're in the uh, hangar bay, when you're in an armistice zone. So we can't tractor beam that one at the moment. We should put some Picos by each of the, the uh, airlocks, guarding the airlocks. And then, then here's the, the bridge of our ship. You know, I got a plushie there, got a little co-pilot there, the, the special Christmas Pico, and, and another plant. <laughs> that is what I got for you guys right now. Um, Why are all plants so lonely? Mato says, actually, there is a temp fix for the markers, but it's hit or miss. You'll need at least two LLR devices or using it in your base. LLR devices? Long range? No, I don't know. What <laughs> right. I thought the ship would have rotated with them, but I guess it depends on how that's implemented. Yeah, so right now, 
there is no orbital mechanics, so your ship doesn't rotate with the markers. They don't. Your ship sits right in space where it is, so the OM markers will continue to go, and your ship does not go with it. Need more information on that, Mateo. All right, so we're going to take off, and um, we'll do one mission, and then I'm going to have to stop. Really, I don't even have time for that one mission, to be honest. Yeah, the side was kind of full. Yeah, it was in a full and front of the 99. Well, to be honest, I don't even have time for one mission. We're probably just going to call it. I forgot to close the hangar bay. It's okay. It'll close automatically when we want them. It's dark. Yes, I'm sorry. No. Well, we will be. Living on the 890 now, of course, my dude. Always living on the 890, still tech. <laughs> Time to play Among Us. Mateo says what he said is a dream. It's not real. What is that parking on that M50 right there? Look at that crooked parking. Look how beautiful. Look how beautiful the freaking Pisces and the Furious look lined up. And then you got this crooked M50 parking. <laughs> I thought I was going to move it, so I was like, I'll just park it. Wait for you to tell me where to put it. Cool, it is though. quite bad. Dicker good too. Alright, where are we? 20k up. Who's calling me at this time? Derek? You guys wanna you guys wanna tune into a Derek call? Derek! 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 What are you doing, Manny? We're, we're live streaming right now. How's it going? You're, you're uh, where right now? We're live streaming. Live streaming? What's up, boss? You're on, the, you're on call here on, on okay. Astro Manny YouTube and Twitch. Okay. okay. I just got a funny story to tell you. You got a funny Shit. story. Okay. Shit has me cracking up, bro. Okay. So, so I collected a groundwater sample and I went to go take it to the UPS store. Okay. And there was a little bit on the side of the bucket that I took, right? And it was, you know, a dark color. And the lady was, she was like one of those like, dude, I don't want to touch dirt kind of girls, you know? Oh, and yeah. she was like, what is that? Is that poop water? And I said, poop water? I was like, you're halfway there. I said, it's ground water. <laughs> that, that was funny. I don't know, bro, you said it, because this chick was like, <laughs> she's like straight up out of a movie, kind of, like, you know, like, I don't know how to explain it, like, uh, like one of those uptight, like, doesn't want to get her fingers dirty kind of girls, you know? Uh -huh. Anyway, I thought this shit was fucking hilarious, because she didn't even touch the bucket, she had her, she had her other co-worker grab it for <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. Uh, have you ever seen ground water before? I, oh, that's why I told her too. I was like, well, it's not purified clean water. I was like, you can't drink it. <laughs> just looked at me. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like, so what are you streaming? Uh, Star Citizen. Oh, okay. Very cool. All right. Well, get back to the stream, brother. I just wanted to chat with you. All right. I was, we were talking last night, but I was so focused on doing my recording. I, yeah, yeah. I was just well, it was a beautiful story. So we, we, we all appreciated it. Okay, well, it, it was funny to me, I guess. It must be watching. I just love seeing people that don't like getting their hands dirty. Shit cracks me up. Anyways, all right. <laughs> all right. Well, see you, brother. All right. Bye. All right. Did you guys enjoy his story about uh, the lady who didn't want to touch dirt? Good story. Well, that... <laughs> yeah. What if she is watching this video right now? So what? <laughs> All right, so here's what's going to happen, guys. 
to be honest. Like I said, this was the setup video. We'll do an actual video in the future. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop the guys off here at Seraphim Station, and then I'm probably gonna call it because I gotta go to work, my dudes. Um, I lied. Do I gotta go to work? <laughs> Depends whether you want to go to work. I'm trying to think of timing. I'm already I'm already dressed and ready. I don't have any setup to do. Do I got a half hour? The, my only thing is like I want to do a bunker. But bunkers are freaking stupid right now. They're all hostile because of the event. So. I think what I'm going to do, like I said, is I'm just going to dock this thing so that I can hey, show off docking. Hey, What's up? Of those bunkers, I think they limited them to one turn, even though they're live. Oh, yeah? I been going to any, yeah, I haven't been going to any where there's three and four. But I would be bringing a Pisces, and I don't want to fight it. Ah, uh, that is because of over, over what thing. Yeah. Well, yeah, you don't want to do it in the Pisces, but yeah, I thought I'd just chime in there. Bunkers or bug. Yeah. They're not allowed to land and drive there. Well, we could. It just would take forever in the 890. Yeah, fair enough. We could land and drive and do a bunker. I don't know. Well, maybe we'll just pick up Viper, right? Viper, you coming with us? Where's the docking location? It's behind us, isn't it? Flip this baby like it's a freaking light fighter. Look at that. No problem. It's the most nimble ship in the verse, guys. I don't know what docking port we're going to be in, but we're going to be in a docking port for you. see the docking port the way I do my docking guys docking 101 from Astro Manny is you find the port right then you line yourself up in third person because you can get as close as you can get in third person and then finish the job in first person because if you do it in third person to start off you're gonna save yourself a lot of time you get as close as you possibly can in third person without wrecking and without getting it perfect and then finish the job in first person when you have the actual coordinates for precision, right? So as you can see, I got pretty close there. I'm gonna rotate and line up the buttons. Yaw, pitch, okay. So now we're all lined up. I'm gonna go back to third person, see what I can do for position wise. We're too high, okay. We're too high, we're too far back. It won't do not all down. A little bit down. And then there we go, we're good enough. And then what we'll do is we'll use the coordinates now. As we can see where our Z coordinate is perfect. Our Y coordinate is a little bit off. And then from there we're we could auto dock probably for sure. I mean, and, and I was literally like an inch away from manual docking, but that's the fastest way to do it. You are not bringing no Connie anywhere near my 890, sir. <laughs> All right, we are docked and ready to pick you up, Viper. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and that is setting up up in 890 that is our first episode there of preparing the 890 and setting it up and showing you how to undock it and redock it at Seraphim Station I'm in Viper's in